As Apple gears up to launch its forthcoming iPhone 16 series, a significant design overhaul could be on the horizon, according to a recent report from the Economic Daily News. The new design is expected to replace the traditional physical buttons with capacitive ones, marking a departure from previous iPhone models. Don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Capacitive buttons, unlike their physical counterparts, remain stationary and respond to pressure with haptic feedback, creating the illusion of movement. Apple has previously implemented this technology in later versions of the Touch ID Home button on the iPhone, including the current iPhone Southeast. The introduction of capacitive buttons would result in an iPhone with fewer moving parts. However, this would be the first time Apple has replaced the power button with a capacitive one. The report suggests that capacitive elements will be present on both sides of the device, with volume switches on one side, possibly accompanied by the action button. The other side, which currently houses the side button used to power the device on and off, could also see a change. The report strongly suggests that the shift to capacitive touch buttons will lead to the disappearance of physical buttons on the iPhone's exterior. However, it raises questions about whether these components are intended for the iPhone 16 series, as it mentions a volume shipment release stage expected in the third quarter, which seems late for a September launch. Given that most leaks about the iPhone 16 point towards mechanical buttons, it's possible that the report is accurate about the components but not the timeline. It might be more likely that these buttons are being prepared for the iPhone 17 series. Another significant change is expected to be announced at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, on June 10. It's speculated that Apple will introduce a new kind of AI that differs from its competitors, with a strong focus on privacy. This AI is expected to operate on the iPhone itself, rather than in the cloud, potentially offering quicker response times and easier privacy maintenance. In a recent update, it was suggested that one of the new capacitive buttons, called the Capture button, is designed for quick access to the iPhone's cameras. Other potential camera design changes include a new anti-reflective optical coating on the lenses and a shift from a diagonal to a vertical lens arrangement to enable spatial video shooting. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to continue the trend of having the best camera in the series, possibly featuring a 12x zoom compared to the main camera, up from the current 5x zoom. The iPhone 16 Pro is also rumored to inherit the 5x zoom lens currently exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. While a super zoom would be welcomed by many photographers, a 5x zoom is often sufficient for many situations. More leaks are expected soon, but it's clear that the design changes for the upcoming iPhones could be significant. Thank you for joining us on this journey today. We hope you found our discussion on the upcoming iPhone 16 series enlightening and exciting. As we anticipate the unveiling of these new features, remember to stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates and in-depth analysis. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Remember, your support helps us bring you more content like this. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.